Hello guys from wherever you are <coughs> and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's my hope that Munendele Vizuri. With that uh, much concern, let's get started. So Leo, Tuna Kungelea an interesting story. It's a story about Tuna Kungelea how to get a car na kukaa nayo na ku maintain mpaka ile wakati tutaamua ku ku dispose kama ni mgeni hii youtube ina kulenga wewe kama ni mgeni au unapanga kuja hapa hivi kitu kama gari is not like a privilege hapa venye ni venye afrika tunakuonga like is a privilege kuwa na gari ama kununua gari hapa is like ni, ni lazima ukue na hiyo unaona so on my previous video ni muongelea about jinsi ya kupata kazi uh, utaiona if you go through my videos utaiona so after usha pata kazi so hautatumia public means forever kwa kwenda kazi uh, itafika mali kama miezi mitatu miezi sita kama mimi personally if i may give you a short story kwangu nilinua gari after miezi sita unaona nilikuwa natumia public means nilikuwa na spend like one hour kuingia job asubuhi na na spend another one hour kwa sababu nilikuwa natumia basi Bas, basi moja alafu natumia train alafu natumia basi nyingine so ni basi mbili train mara moja alafu tena kurudi na kuwa ni basi basi train tena basi so unaona uh, uzuri wa public transport hapa zenda na time but ukilinganisha maybe umetoka job late ama umetoka saa ngapi lazima uende na schedule ya basi so uh, mimi after ni okay after three months tiliona ikuwa ni make sense ilikuwa na end up na waste like 2 hours kila siku zenye kwa barabara na mali penye kama ungekuwa na public means ama wakati unatumia uber i mean kama ungekuwa na private means ama wakati unatumia uber ni mali pa only 10 to 15 minutes so rona is it worth to spend one hour a whole one hour kwa place ya only 15 minutes niliona no in make sense so nini chenye nilifanya Ah, uh, nilikuwa na marafiki zangu niliambia inabidi utafute gari which it was the right thing but then Nigenda kutafuta uh, so swali yenye inafaa ujiulize ni gari gani nafaa utafute okay uko na idea ndio kutafuta gari utaendea gari zero mileage utaendea gari yenye kwa maybe ni mpya mpya kabisa let's say sasa iko 2020 unaendea gari ya 2020 or gari ya 2021 it makes sense unaona because high chances zitakuwa that you can't afford that car in cash na kama uwezi ka afford in cash itabidi uchukue method of payment na kama payment plan huu utaona gari hii gari mbona inakaa mzuri hii ni 2020 ka 2020 ka or 2020 2021 unaona hii gari inanimikia sense wacha nichukue ili ku store wase unaona unataka ku store wase unataka kutesa wase mtandao ni ati uko na gari imeweza gari mpya gari latest okay uta store wase but then utaweza kuilipia kwa sababu uh, gari ya kwanza venye mimi naona na venye hata mimi mwenyewe nilifanya unachukua gari yenye unaweza afford yenye una pay in cash. Most of the time is unachukua hizo my used car ile ya zamani, especially kama ni fast driver. Unaona? Kama mimi mimi nimejifunzia gari hapa hivi. So, hata kama ulikuwa unaendesha gari mtaani, usikuje hapa ndio unajipeleka kuchukua gari mpya, unaona? Kwa sababu mtaani ulikuwa unaendesha na right, hapo unaendesha na left. So lazima uchukue gari ya kwanza ni kama ni mzuri yani is recommended uanze na gari mzee. So mimi nilianza na gari kama ya 2500 shillings na dollars I mean. So nilianza na kani nilianza na 1997 Toyota Camry. Hiyo gari ilikuwa mzee. <laughs> Lakini then ilikuwa uh, aka from point A to point B. Unaona? Siko nafanya like hizo extra jobs kama Uber na nini kwa sababu anyway siko na joko. Siko na joko endesha vizuri. So hiyo gari nilikaa nayo for a year. Na acha nikwambie, kukaa nayo gari ni nisaidie ku kwa sababu the only thing ilikuwa nilipa ni insurance na kuweka mafuta na oil which ilikuwa nafanya mara moja moja tu after ni after 3000 miles which hata siko rafikisha kwa sababu nilikuwa i was just 15 minutes to my job unaona so after hapo after one year niliona niko stable alafu gari ilianza kunisumbua so mpaka pia ujiulize hii gari kwa sababu hii ni gari mzee hii ni gari ya mashida iko na mashida zake tu mpaka ujiulize hii gari is it, is, it, is it making financial sense unaona is it worth fixing it kwa sababu unapata ni unapata party marebika Unapata unaambiwa pesa fulani. Kama hii yangu sasa ilikuja ka develop shida na transmission. Kwenda kuambia transmission ilikuwa way much than the <laughs> almost be ya gari unaona. Almost be ya gari almost 2500. Then I was like it doesn't make sense. Kwa nini niweke gari niweke transmission kwa gari mpya kama hii? Unaona kwa kwa gari mzee kama hii. Wakati be ya transmission na be ya gari yenyewe actually zatoshana. So nini ni decide kufanya? I made another mistake. Niliamua kuandia gari mpya ilendea was it a 2016 or 
sitawambia ni Nissan gani lakini ni Nissan tu. Nikakaa na Nissan lakini sasa payment iko na make every two weeks. Like you can I used to make a huge payment. Nafu kitu kingine nyenye ku confirmation na ni kitu kingine ku confirmation na easy ni ku finance gari unapata unaiko pressure na dealership alafu kuna insurance zingine especially kama unajua American operating funny uko huko mdogo insurance yako iko juu so unajua unajaribu ku shop from different uh, na insurance companies unajaribu ongea na msema kama anaweza kuweka anda kama unaweza kuweka kwa insurance yako so that yako rudi chini unapata inakuwa ngumu so you end up na pay insurance very high na una pay pia ka cannot very high so mimi na consider that ukisha no gari ya kwanza na ukibati kupata gari mzuri jaribu kusukuma nayo to the maximum hata kama ni 2 years 3 years boku feel that uko na kazi yenye inaweza ku sustain then uchukue like on upgrade usichukue gari mpya zero mileage kwanza chukua gari yenye maybe kama ulikuwa umechukua ka gari kazamani kama ka 2000 2002 or 2007 depending na gari yenye ulichukua make sure inaweza kusaba hata kama to the maximum of 5 years depending na venye gari yenyewe how much inaweza kupeleka. Alafu mimi sita ku recommend ile chukua gari ya 2000 bembe ilikuwa gari ya 2300. Make sure save chukua gari hata ya 4500 5000 unaona. Gari yenyewe utalipa in cash, nitakusukuma for a while gari yenyewe kwa strong na especially consider Jap- Japanese cars. Chukua kitu kama kitu Toyota hivi, ki Honda hivi, unaona? Ye ndesha kama ile juu. Probably utapata kwa na above 150000 mileage or 120 or 180 wao ongezea mileage mpaka pale penye utaona kweli gari imechoka. After hapo niko show after another 5 years utakuwa in stable condi, uh, stable job utakuwa umejiendesha utakuwa umefanya you are 1 2 3 uh, so that uweze kuchukua gari mpya. So hii gari yako yenye umechukua hii ya pili sasa. Ukitaka vizuri ukitaka sasa kuchukua gari mpya kwa sababu gari mpya zero mileage ni watu wachoche wanaweza unachochacha wanaweza afford. So kiangalia high chance utapata inaenda 40000 50000 kama kwa willing kweli ndio gari ulikuwa unataka ah na most of the time mtu anataka gachukue dream car yake kwa sababu hii ni gari yenye uta, uta make payment for at least 5 years unaona so hii gari yako yenye ulikuwa umechukua 4000 chini unafanya usi trade in kwa sababu ki trade in watakujanyasa ataku, utapata hii gari yako maybe ilikuwa na value ya maybe 3000 au 2500 utakupatia maybe so tano ama 1000 at most chini unafanya hii gari iuze uuzie mse mwenye anaanza maisha pia unaona uuzie mse mwenye anaanza maisha maisha apambane nayo Alafu hiyo pesa hiyo umechukua ongezea na nyingine alafu ndio wekele chini uchukue your dream car alafu maisha itakuwa mzuri so hiyo nilikuwa nataka kushare na nyinyi leo i hope umeenjoy ilikuwa nataka ikuwa as short as possible kwa sababu hii video tu ilikuwa tu ya kwa keep kuonyesha yani nataka tukua tukua nafanya kama as if the series you know na nikiwaambia leo kesho tunaongelea kitu kingine kesho kutu tunaongelea kitu kingine so that i keep you i keep everybody going na kama wewe ni msao hapa hivi na wewe umeishi hapa hivi hii video si yako please kama umependa consider subscribing consider sharing with others so that tuzidi kuchanuana nikichanuka na wachanua pia nyinyi tunachanuana na pia kama uko na swali na ama uko na comment iko positive ama negative yeah, write, write it down to comment section so that nijue ni wapi penye nafanya clarify ni wapi penye nafanya correct ama kama unaona hii kuna issue na video just tell me let me let me know Until next time, I'm yours, Brandon Tino. Thank you.